which brings me to one of these special moments, a very special one. I am honored and delighted to invite our keynote speaker of this evening to take the stage, His Royal Highness Prince Constantine of the Netherlands. It's a rare phenomenon with so much Twitter and chatter in our lives. Tino Segal brought dialogues to the Stedelijk, so he inspired me to bring some silence here. And to give you time, and I hope you use it well, for an original thought or a creative idea. But as the entertainment and artistic value of a silent man standing in front of an audience is rather limited, I will say a few words for which I was invited. Time to think, create, learn, and develop is exactly what Rijks Academie is about. I gave you an embarrassing long one minute, but this institution offers one to two years to the best artistic talents worldwide to step out of the frantic pace and distractions of the daily art world to work on personal development and new ideas. Some may say it's a luxury to have such an institution. Indeed, it is. Time is the most valuable asset these days. And to be given time in the presence of peers from all over the world, and with mentors that have made their mark, it is a luxury only granted to a few. Those few talented individuals that have proven themselves and are likely to use that time well. And besides the individual artists in the program, the city and the Netherlands as a whole benefit as well. Here, in contrast, it is not a luxury or a nice to have, it is basic economics. Art and culture generate income for tourists, they help attract new businesses, and the best young professionals to settle in this city. They are the lifeblood of dynamic cities and urban communities worldwide. They nurture progress, challenge and disrupt the status quo, breathe new energy into the fabric of society. In turn, institutions like Rijksakademie and Ateliers and Stedelijk should keep challenging themselves to remain relevant as they are and should remain at the cutting edge of contemporary art. By hosting these world-class institutions, Amsterdam has created a unique position for itself. And for some, especially those in Amsterdam, it is tempting to conclude that they could only exist in Amsterdam because of its open, international, provocative, democratic, anti-authoritarian nature. I don't know if this is the truth. However, I do dare to state that without that, these institutions would have long been gone. The more sophisticated and controlled the place uh, becomes, the more creative mind, creative mind feels locked in and flee. 
Like one cannot engineer innovation, creativity cannot simply be created. It's not in the playground that we learn to play, it's in the open streets and the forests. Thus Amsterdam can only remain Amsterdam if it stays true to itself. It should not become an app store of well-designed experiences, but be like the open internet of experiments, global interactions and unexpected encounters. And this is how I see Amsterdam Art Weekend. By opening up its museums, collections, galleries to the public, it presents the treasures and the talent, the past and its vibrant contemporary art scene. In a city of canals and a country of lakes, it's easy to succumb to an inward-looking insular mentality. Amsterdam Art Weekend aims to overcome this. Art institutions pull together to invite the world to Amsterdam and to push Amsterdam into the world. The Rijksakademie Open 2015 will show the vibrancy of this place and its artists. They will surprise, they will shock, they will inspire their audiences and help us reflect. A weekend obviously is far too short and I would love this to be a month or even a whole year. But every day should be a day of art. And as we know, a weekend is all we have received. So let's enjoy it while it lasts and make sure that its impact is not limited to a weekend of art, but a mind shift to think bigger, to reach higher and to go further. To dare to explore new possibilities together here in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands and in a world that so desperately needs more time to think. Thank you very much.